channel. Welcome back. Uh, we are here in my parents' backyard for a good reason because I got all this mess here of an old garden that me and my girlfriend had a few years ago. Uh, an old shed that was actually a goat shed from back when I had goats. And all this junk. Um, I gotta clean all this up because this is where I'm gonna put all my fish ponds for my summer tubbing. All back here, I'm gonna start with one or two ish guppy ponds and probably a molly pond. And uh, we'll see what it starts with with that and then go from there. But there's a lot of projects to come, all just right here in my backyard. Well, my parents' backyard. And it'll be fun. So stay tuned on the channel while we get all this cleaned up. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you got any tips or ideas for um, what I can do back here with my ponds. My planning is if they're over here, they'll get all this good morning sun coming in. And obviously this tree will be growing in. I'll get some branches trimmed, but then on the second half of the day, the tree will block all the sun so it won't get like completely baked. The plants will go good. The fish won't get too hot. So I think it's going to be a good spot. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this will all just get cleaned up over here and probably just turn into another yard. I mean, right. So yeah, stay tuned. Right now we are headed to the beach with a fish trap and uh, we're gonna see what we can catch. <laughs> Me and Katie enjoy this cold but nice day. It's supposed to rain all weekend. Luckily it's not, so we decided to come out to the beach. But we're gonna get this all ready. And uh, while we enjoy our little time and the scenery, this is still pretty beautiful out here. We're gonna set out this fish trap for about 30 minutes and see if we can catch anything in salt water. And uh, Katie just showed you with the camera, we got the algae wafers that we normally feed our aquarium fish with. And we're gonna see how that does. So we got our little bait bag here. Still intact. If you watched one of our last trap videos, you would see this thing working. Didn't catch anything, but it worked good. So we're gonna see if it works in salt water. Got our algae pucks. Step these guys in there. So, it's a little noisier out here, but if you can see it, it's just kind of floating around right there. Uh, may not be the best spot, 
might not catch anything because it's moving around, but we'll see. Um, I could also put a rock in it. I might do that, but uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in about 30 minutes or so. Uh, me and Katie are going to sit down and enjoy this nice view. Look at all this. Yeah, we'll see you shortly. Spiking on it, like it's something, is it? Yeah, I don't know what though. Oh, it's weirdly squishy. I guess better than nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're just gonna dump this right back over here, and uh, that's it for our little beach trap day. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Right, so we were just at the beach, and now we're in the uh, shop here at my parents' house. Big change of scenery, I know. I want to show you guys the uh, new project that me and my lovely Katie have been working on. It's our, uh, I don't know what I call it, I'm going to call it the cat coop. Cat coop. <laughs> so it's going to hang outside of our bedroom window. So it's going to be the window basically right here. It's going to be all screened off and then they'll have all this to play in. Screened off with chicken wire. But uh, they'll have their little platform here to sit on. They got their Homemade scratch post down there that we just made the other night, last night actually. Um, we have plans for another scratch post over here and all this other stuff we're doing. We got this cool, awesome roof that is all recycled pallet boards. You know, gotta recycle wood. Wood's expensive nowadays. But yeah, it's gonna look all really nice when it's done. All stained by us. Um, we got tools laid out everywhere. You can see we've been working hard. Cut wood, sanders, doesn't stop. So, uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys this before we head to the next trap that unfortunately you didn't get to see us plant the traps because we were just hanging out with our little brother Gavin for his birthday. So uh, we don't want to record too much or make YouTube the highlight of the day, you know what I mean? But, yeah, so we're going to go pick those traps up before it gets too dark. It's actually starting to get dark now. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you out there. I'm uh, on my way to the fish traps. There's just two of them. It's really cold. It's raining, so I'm gonna be as quick as I can. And I got a dinner to go to. So uh, hopefully we catch something. If not, you know, I'm not gonna be too upset. It's all about the experience, right? As long as you have fun doing it. <sighs> all right. Now, I'm gonna get my my camera set up somewhere, so uh, I'm gonna go grab the first trap. Ah, 
truck on one. Nothing in it. Um, I had my GoPro on. What looked to me was when I was pulling it out, it looked like a fish swam out. But I don't have it on video, so I can't prove it. But there's one down. Let's go get the other one. Well, there you have it, two traps, nothing in either one. Uh, this one actually still has some of the bait left in it. So I'm gonna dump this out. But that's how it goes. You know, sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you don't. This is a really nice spot, so I'll probably have a lot more videos of me coming here. Um, I like it a lot, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I have caught fish here, actually right in this spot behind me, on my uh, little dock runner. So yeah, I'll definitely come back and do that. But in the meantime, I got a dinner to go to for Gavin's birthday. So uh, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this crazy all over the place video. And uh, we'll see you for more.